All right, Nate here from Montu Tactical, firearms instructor, competition shooter. Today, we're talking about installing the Trijicon SRO on the new 6R P320X5 DH3. Okay, how to install this properly. Um, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure no, no ammo is in the gun, everything's clear. Okay, all clear. Drop the hammer, pull the trigger, safe. The screws that come with the SRO, the Trigicon SRO. Now the Trigicon SRO, I'm not gonna get into deep details, nor is this a review about all the details about the, uh, the SIG P320, the new DH3. Okay, just know that this is a five inch barrel. It's based on the SIG Legion uh, X5 as well, pretty much, but it's got an upgraded uh, grip module. So, it's got sort of that skateboard grip, really built-in grip. So you're not having to upgrade this grip or anything. It's automatically already built in. Um, the trigger is about three and a half pounds. Some people, I do competition shooting, so some people are saying, hey, maybe you might want to change the trigger. I'm not changing anything on the gun until I'm in a position where I feel like I need to change it as me as a person, as a shooter. Okay, so that's what it is. Now this slide has... Normally on, on the X5, it has uh, drill holes down here on the bottom. Right after you take off the mounting plate, it has drill holes on the bottom for you to install your, your optic. Well, the DH3 does not have that. Basically, it has RMR. The smaller holes that are on the outside edges here, close to the edges on both sides, those are the RMR holes. And the bigger hole is the are the holes for the... Um, the iron sight, just a regular plate without, if you're not going to use an optic. So take the screws off. You need to use a bit to, uh, let me just tell you the bit you need. You need a T15 bit to take off the the, uh, the iron sights plate, just the regular plates. And uh, let's drop the, well, what we do is you just lock this to the back. Okay, lock it to the back and you, and, and the, Take down lever, you just pull it like this, pull it all the way down while the slide is locked back. Then release the uh, hit the slide release, but hold the slide release while you're while you're holding the slide so it doesn't fly off, and just kind of pull that off. And there you go. There's our there's our slide. All right, so those are gonna go into the the RMR hole. So the SRO Trijicon SRO. Retails for $700, $770 it retails on Trijicon's website. Don't go to Trijicon's website. Um, I'm not doing this for Trijicon. Um, this is just, I haven't found any videos on YouTube on how to install this optic on the new 6R uh, P320X5 DH3. So I'm making a video on how to do this, how to mount the Trijicon SRO onto, onto the, uh, the 6R here. So um, you can... Get with my friend here. So I'm out of Houston. There's a uh, a brother here in Houston uh, named Randy, and his company is called Obsidian Tactics. I was able to order this for five hundred and five hundred dollars plus shipping. So five hundred dollars is for the optic. Normally it's seven seventy one. So get with Randy at Obsidian Tactics. Obsidian Tactics. I'll put it down in the description on this post. Obsidian Tactics. Okay. Trijicon. Now the screws that come with the Trijicon. Do not use these screws. It will not work on this specific gun. In the manual, they say, oh, it'll work. Uh, the screws that come with it are six, six thirty seconds uh, Torx, Torx screws. And they say, oh, it'll work on a Glock MOS or a Springfield. Well, we're not doing it for a Glock MOS or Springfield. So we can't use these. I tried to use these, but I didn't. I'm, and I stripped it out. Uh, so don't try to use these. You know what I mean? I went too far and I was like, let me back out of that. Um, so those, you do not use the, do not use the screws that come with the, uh, the optic. What you do need to use, however, so basically the part number you need is from 6R. Now, if you go to 6R's website and look for part number 1303084-1. So that's 13084-R. If you type that in to SIG's website and hit enter, 
it will come back with the results for um for a a uh a Trizicon RMR adapter plate is okay. So it comes with this adapter plate. Now technically, I, I get it. it. It's direct mount, so I don't technically need the adapter plate. But I'm gonna put it on there anyway, and I'll just put a little lube here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put. It's really super thin. All right. So let's take that out. Super thin. Um, it does not. There's a notch under here. It does not go under that notch that you would think from the picture that it would go under there, but it doesn't. It just it just rests on the on the uh, on the mounting part of the of the slide, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna put the SRO on top of that, like so, and then we'll put our screws through. The screws that come with the uh, with the kit here, with the Trigicon RMR adapter plate kit from SIG's website, they are slightly different. Um, then the screws that come with the optic. The screws that come with the optic are too long. So if you look at that compared to, let me get it out the bag here. Basically, the moral of the story is we're not using any of the screws that come with the Trigicon. So you can't you can't really see it that good. Let me try to see if I can get it side by side. There we go, that's a better, better picture. The point is, you see the screw is taller that comes with the Trigicon on the, uh, uh, right here. That's the Trigicon screw. The one with the red stripe is the one that comes with the ceiling plate kit from, from 6R. So you can't use the longer screws that comes with Trigicon for this to mount that SRO onto the SIG P320X5, period. You can't use it, okay? So don't try it. You're going to get it stuck in there and you're going to have to like use vice grips to get it out. All right. So I just want to make, be clear on that. So a little oil will go on that slide. I'll put the plate, the little thin plate on. Then I'll put the optic on top of that. Again, the Trigicon SRO is 6 MOA dot. So I do competition shooting. So I'm upgrading from my Glock, my Glock 19, right? With a four inch barrel. I'm upgrading that to the five inch barrel SIG and it's not just about the barrel length. Uh, let me just run down. I, I'm not gonna do a full review of the SIG, but basically it's uh, it's competition ready. It already has the grip, so it's got the skateboard grip. You're not having to upgrade the grip and pay $100 for a new grip. You're not having to really change the trigger. Yes, I could technically change the trigger, but it's a three and a half pound trigger already. Um, what else? It's got three 21 round magazines. It comes with additional springs for different pounds, 13, I believe 18 pounds and 15 pounds. It's striker fired. Uh, what else? Tungsten, tungsten polymer grip. And it's weighted on the inside here, inside the slide, inside the, the, uh, the magwell here. There is, there's a weight to it. There's a little metal weight in here. So that's what's adding a lot of the weight too. So you don't have to do anything with this gun. Um, it's ready to go for competition shooting right out of the box, in my humble opinion. It's not like the previous X5 Legions where you have to do a bunch of changes to the trigger and all these sort of things. Now, you know, three and a half pound trigger, do we really want a two, two pound trigger or three pound trigger? Is it really that big of a difference? So I'm not changing. Yes, there's a little, there's a little take up here, you know, uh, on the trigger, but you know, I'll change it if I feel like I need to. When I get to, when I le start leveling up and I feel like I really need to change the trigger because all the take up is, you know, a micro hair off, then maybe I'll change the trigger. But for now, stock trigger three and a half pound works. Um, again, it's, it's also 43 ounces. So that's enough about that. So let's get into mounting the actual Trigicon SRO uh, specifically. So I'm gonna pause the video, come back. Now to mount that, um, where's that bit? Here it is. So to mount the Trigicon with, these, with this screw plate kit, you need this uh, Torx wrench and make sure it, that it's 5 64ths. Okay, 5 64ths. I don't know if you can see that that, that well. I'm going to use the Fat Boy uh, Torque wrench and it needs to be set to 15 pounds. Per the manual for the Trigicon, the Trigicon manual calls out 15 pounds of pressure that you need to screw that down once you put the screws in and screw that down. Okay. Do not over torque your 
your optic. You just pay five hundred dollars for the optic. We don't want to break the. I mean, it's not going to break that easy, but we don't want it to come off the gun. So torque it to the right specification. Fifteen pounds. Okay. Make sure you have the proper tool. This was about for fifty bucks, maybe. All right. So very good tool to have. I'll pause the video. Be right back. All right, now we're back. We've got it mounted. You got the Trigicon SRO mounted. Torque, Torx, uh, using the Torx uh, 15 pounds to uh, tighten it down. The screws went in easy. When I tried to use the screws that came, came in the box with the Trigicon, it was really difficult screwing it down. And I thought, oh, maybe it's just because it was a tight, you know, maybe because it's a new slide. And, and then I thought about it for a second. I was like, wait a minute, that I didn't have to do that with other with other guns. I didn't have to do that with my Glock. It wasn't like this strenuous effort you had to put on uh, on that screw when you were mounting it. So that told me that something was wrong with the with the screws that came out of the box for the Trigicon. So finally, through you know hunting, hunting it down, we got the right screw set. So you just need to make sure you get uh, onto SIG's website and look up the SIG Trigicon RMR adapter plate. And that plate is not just the plate, you need the screws. Okay, the plate is just a thin little layer on top. And normally, I, I believe that plate is normally for other optics that have an opening on the bottom. I think older, some older Trigicon models or other optic models, they, the battery is exposed on the bottom. So they designed that plate to kind of protect it from the elements or whatever uh, through the pressure that's on here. But in this case, this Trigicon, specifically this one, this, this is a newer generation. It has a, uh, it's, it's got a metal part on the bottom as well. So there's no opening. The battery is top loaded, by the way. So uh, the battery is top loaded. And I'm going to use a 10 yard zero because that's the zero I use. Um, and I use it specifically for competition shooting. So by having a 10 yard zero, that means everything within 10 yards, when I get to everything inside, uh, inside of 10 yards, is which is 21 feet 10 yards translates to 21 feet i believe um is going to start dropping so when i get to three yards if i'm shooting at three yards it's almost it's like a half an inch on my on my point of impact versus my red dot's point of aim so when i pull that trigger it's going to be a half inch off so i need to have my holdover needs to be um needs to be different when i'm inside of 10 yards versus when i'm when i start going out shooting outside of 10 yards when i start shooting at 20 yards it's a 1.5 inch rise. So that means I have to hold down when I start going out 15, 20, 25 yards, 30, 35 yards, 50. I have to, you know, hold it down more. Sounds weird, but that's how it works with the 10 yard zero. All right, so that's how you need to install the Trigicon RMR adapter plate from 6R. 
That's how you install it properly on the 6R P320X5 DH3. The new one with the with the armor cuts, you don't have to take off uh, and and pull out the firing pin or any of that. The DH5 is is ready to go. I mean, out of the box. A lot. Of, I really like this DH5. It feels good in the hand. So the reassemble, we're just going to slide this over top, lock it back. So lock it back with the with the slide release, and what that will do is make it easier for you to pull forward on. The drop down lever so it's the same to take this off and by the way uh another thing i just learned if you put the if you leave this magazine in which you should never do by the way if you leave the magazine in you it the take down lever will not operate it won't work so you must release the magazine and then the take down lever will come off and then you can pull the slide forward and then it comes off all right so lock Take down lever, release, pull, done. All right, that's the SIG P320 X5 DH3, new edition with serrated slides on the front, optic ready. It's got night sights, uh, front and rear sight, night sights, suppressor height sights. I'm not gonna remove the front sight because in, for now, it doesn't distract me. It distracts other people, but it doesn't distract me when I'm shooting. And if it starts to distract me, then I'll take it off. So I had the same uh, visual in my window, in my field of view. I had the same, I had the same uh, setup in my Glock, my Glock 19. I can still see the front sight, you know, through my dot. It doesn't distract me personally from shooting. All right. So Nate from Matsu Tactical, Trijicon SRO installed on the DH3, ready to go. May out.